guys I'm back to do another video for you um I'm here to do my next review um I did mention in my books that I read in all the books I read in 2020 video that I was going to do a review of Andrea Barber's for Full Circle, Make It Nice by Dorinda Medley, and Next Level Basic by Stassi Schroeder. My next book I'm reviewing is um, Next Level Basic by Stassi Schroeder. Um, I gave this book four out of five stars. I love Stassi. Um, I honestly thought this was going to be better than it was. Um, first, let's talk about the cover. The cover is so pretty. I love this picture of her. Um, I think it's a little, it's so her by, I understand why she did that because it's all she would do is drink iced coffee, which is kind of funny. Um, but the cover is so her. It's, it like masks her so well. I love the back cover of her in the red dress taking a selfie. Um, sorry, I'm turning the light on to make it brighter. Um, but I love the cover, the back cover too. It's so cute. Um, the book itself, I really wanted to like this book and give it five out of five stars. It was so good. It was good, but it wasn't where I was like, wow, this is amazing. Yes, she is from Vanderpump Rules. Um, <sighs> She did talk about, she did cover her basis in this. I will tell you that. Her next book comes out in April, so I will be doing another review on that after I read it. But this one, basically, she is from New Orleans. She talks about it religiously on Vanderpump Rules. She is the biggest birthday princess that I could ever think of she emulates that on Vanderpump Rules so well that it's like it's my birthday what I say goes and I don't blame her because I'm a lot of people are like that and I'm not judging I am one of those people too so she covers a lot of ground in this um She talks about growing up in New Orleans in her childhood. Um, she talks about Vanderpump Rules and a lot. And she talks about that. She also talks about... She... If all of you watch the show, I really don't have to get into too much detail on her book. Only because she talks about so much of it on the book. She basically covers a lot of ground from what she wrote in her book on the show. This book came out while she was still on the show, so she mentions a lot about that. Uh, she was currently, I don't remember what season it was, but it was, I think, I can't remember off the top of my head, but did this come? But this did come out while she was on one of the show, while filming one of the seasons. Um... The stuff that I did find interesting was her parents got a divorce when she was young. Um, I did not know that. Um, well, I did know her parents were divorced because she mentions it on Vanderpump Rules. But I did not know they got a divorce when she was young. Um, that's interesting because her mom was in, Nor in... Her parents were still in New Orleans when um, she... It was growing up, but I guess going from one house to the other growing up was very interesting to read about and her take on it. And it was interesting because when she was in high school, she had jet black hair. And I would never picture her, her having jet black hair. Um, that was interesting to read about. Um, the other stuff that was interesting to read about for me was how she came to be on Vanderpump Rules. She is best, now she is best friends with Katie, Stassi, I'm sorry, Katie, Kristen, 
everybody from that show. She dated one of the main guys on it, Jax Taylor, which all of you probably already know about. Um, reading about her relationship with Jax in this book was very interesting to me. They did, it was a very public relationship. They were together for, I think, two years on and off. And then she went from him to one of the bartenders, Frank. So talking about that in this book was also very interesting too. The other part that was also very interesting was how she required OO, National OOTD Day, which is um, outfit of the day. Um, how she went about getting it, how she wanted to make it hers. Because all she does is take pictures um, of her OOTDs. So, which stands for outfit of the day in case. I didn't mention that, but I know I did. But I'm just doing it again. Um, I didn't know so much information went into getting an outfit of the day. Making it a holiday. Um, March 1st is Lisa Vanderpump Day in California. Um... National Lisa Vanderpump Day, because it's a holiday now. Um, but it was interesting how she talked about getting that. And then it was interesting how she went about getting on the show. Um, let me get back to that now. Getting on the show was an interesting process. Because, yes, Lisa Vanderpump was on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm sure everybody knows that. Um... And when Andy Cohen wanted to give Lisa Vanderpump Vanderpump rules, she, everybody who was on the show was supposed to be on the show. She started dating Jax, and she was dating Jax before the show even existed, but the one thing she kind of talked about was... She didn't really want him or her to do the show. She kind of wanted it to be, you know what? I just wanted to stay out of it. It's not my thing. And then I think she talked to either somebody. I don't know who. And then she was like, you know what? Let's give this a try. And it was interesting to read. Because basically it's all covered on the TV show. Probably all of you have watched it. If you have not... It's your basic reality TV. If you want to watch it, go ahead. It's uh, it's entertaining, let's just say that. Um, and But for those of you who've watched it, you know. You know the whole thing. They talk about it very publicly. Um, every single one of her relationships that she has had on the, has been very public because... She's on a reality television show. The one thing she also went into detail was she went on, she went into detail on it on the show, but she also talked about it a little more in this was that when she dated Patrick, one of her boy ex boyfriends, um, she when she was at one of the reunions, she did mention he did not want to be on the show because he did not want to be associated with the show. But then when she forced him to be on the show, it was just a nightmare for her. Um, it was interesting to read about that, too. Um, basically, this book covers everything. Covers her childhood, Vanderpump, uh her recent her current relationship with her now husband Bo um it basically covers every plot point you want it to cover if you're a huge Stasi Schroeder fan um her next book comes out in April I believe so next month um this is like I said, I don't have to go into grave detail because it covers everything and half of it has been televised on television. Um, she actually also 
from Vanderpump Rules, she actually also talked about, um, on Vanderpump Rules, how she also required National OOTD Day. Um, and there was so much process going into that, and, um, she had to file paperwork, she had to get people to sign off on it, and make it, uh, she had to go on a website to get it an official holiday, get all the rights for it. It was a huge process that I didn't know took a huge process. But like I said, regardless, nonetheless, um, it's a great read. It's a quick read if you want to, if you want a quick read of hers. Um, so that's basically it. So now a wrap up of Next Level Basic by Sassy Schroeder. Like I mentioned earlier, I gave this four out, of, four out of five stars. It was a quick read. It was an entertaining read. I really wanted to like it. She did write this herself because she was writing. It was shown on the show that she wrote it herself. Um, and it was... It was well written. It was very well writ written. Um, it's about, uh, I will tell you in one second. It's 222 pages. So I'm assuming somebody, you could get through this in a day, maybe two days. Um, I read it in about two days. It's super quick. I read it on... I think I was going on vacation and I read it on either the plane or on the train when I went away on vacation for like a weekend and it was quick it was entertaining it was basically everything I wanted in this book I like that it wasn't like 400 pages because honestly I did not think this book needed to be 400 pages um she covered enough ground to satisfy me. Um, you can read this anytime you want. Uh, if you're going on a vacation and you need something to occupy you on the train or the bus or the plane just to kill time, make it go quicker, definitely read this. You can read it in the summer by the pool if you want a quick read. If you're away in the Hamptons, or if you go to a tropical island, or anywhere, this is one of those quick reads. Um, this book would not disappoint. If you want to, I only bought it because I knew I would probably reread it again at some point. I might actually reread it again this month before her next book comes out, but I don't think I really need to. So I haven't decided yet, but I really don't think it's necessary to reread it. If you haven't read it in like a few years, because I think this came out in about in a... Uh, I will tell you right now. This book came out in 2019. So, um... So about two years ago. So if you want a refresher, then you can definitely reread it. But I think it's a one-time read, maybe a two-time read, depending on if you want to read it again. That's solely up to you. Um, that and um, I will be reading her next book, and I will be doing a review on that. Um, but until then... That's it for this video, for this review of Next Level Basic by Stassi Schroeder. Let me know down in the comments if you're a fan of Vanderpump Rules, if you've read her book, what your thoughts on her book were, um, what rating you gave it, and if you're looking forward to her next book, if you're going to read her next book, um, if you didn't find this interesting or not. I would recommend, if you want to pay the $27 for it, you can. I would also say if you're a fan of Vanderpump Rules and you're skeptical on the book, definitely get it from the library and then make your judgment if you want to own it. 
I only bought it, like I said, because I knew I was going to like it and I would end up wanting a physical copy. But um, I do have this ruling that I would recommend. I, depending on how big a fan I am of the person, whether it's an author, a book by a reality television star, or an actor, or whoever, definitely get the book from the library first before deciding you want to buy a physical copy of it. Because if you say, hey, it's not a book that it's going to be that entertaining or if it's only a three star a two star a three star read for you whatever and you don't want a physical copy on hand to own then just get it from the library i would recommend doing that with this book first before making your ruling and bought and doing the 27 dollars. but if you're a huge stassi schroeder fan and you want this book then buy it and own it and you want a physical copy that's that's your choice um but yeah, that does it for this video. I will be doing another review soon. And I will be doing a book haul soon because I have been getting so many books lately that I have not done a book haul. And I do have a giant stack of books I have to unhaul. So an unhaul video will be coming to soon too. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.